Yellow duckies and welcome to Don't Forget Me. This is a adventure point and click point and click puzzle game. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and uh, you play as a doctor who can get to the minds of their patients to uncover things. Um, so it it looked a bit interesting and a bit different. So I figured, you know, let's. This is another Steam Games Festival demo. Ha. Why did you turn the light on all of a sudden? To do this to me, you could have put me out of my misery. Look, I'll try to think about it next time. You blew my, my eyes out. I think I'm blind for life. Very funny. The B-Pop shuttle has successfully taken off. Its crew, mainly composed of scientists, mission to find a planet that can be exploited for its resources. See you later, space cowboys. <laughs> uh, Cowboy Bebop reference. Uh, the Forgotten have been blocking the factory for one month. We're not done hearing from them. A little music won't hurt us. Come on, get up. We have a lot of work to do. I'm going to play the drum on your head. With your lack of brain and your metal prosthetic, it should sound good. Let me have a good laugh. You can try. As soon as I get up, I'll kick your butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see it. So, any idea how the evening's going to go? You've been here for two weeks. You know the routine now. Just make the patients feel comfortable while I turn on the machine. I'm not worried. My angel face will soothe them. Yet, it is not a gift to see it all day long. Go around the clinic to check if everything works and if everything is in place. Very well. Kitty? Uh, these little computers are handy. They allow me to learn a little about my surroundings. I even read Return to of the Obra Dinn. However, I'm not sure it was the best reading to fall asleep. Uh, Bernard's whiskey, a bottomless glass, never empty, always full. Shouldn't drink strong alcohol. Coffee machine works well, and so does the record player. May I change the music? works. Hmm. Less stress, less danger. Okay, don't worry. Good morning, madam. Please come in. Thank you very much. This is the first time I'm going to have a memory copied. It makes me a little anxious. Don't worry. The procedure is quick and painless. Your chip will put you to sleep while we digitize. Would you like something to relax? Coffee? Tea? No thanks, that's very kind of you. The sooner it's done, the better. So when was the memory that we have to copy? Last Wednesday. It was a special day for me. I wish to copy it for someone close to me so that he can inherit it, just in case. Very well. Please come with me. Sit in the chair, take a deep breath, and as soon as you put the mask on, it will already be the end of the digit digitization process. Please take place. Are you comfortable? Yes. All right, here we go. Good job, friend. The patient is in good condition. G 
digitization should be quite fast. I found the memory. Let's go. I have a question running through my mind. Hmm? It would be more accurate to call our patients clients, wouldn't it? I mean, we're not performing a medical operation as such. We copy memories on an external support. You're not totally wrong. I think it's an old habit that I find difficult to get rid of. I wish I could say the same. That's it. I'm done. Hello again, madam. It was quick. I feel like I just had, had my mask put on. I told you. You may stand up. Thank you. Follow me. I'll show you the way out. Oh, what a scatterhead. With all the emotions, I forgot to take my memory. Don't worry, it's already safe in your home. But how? A magician never reveals his secrets. Okay. I have no choice but to trust you. So I wish you a good evening. Let, let me open the door for you. Good evening, ma'am. You too. Thank you and have a safe trip. Not so fast, friend. Our next patient is at the door. It's strange. Why? The jacket he wears is the government's. But I can't recognize the logo on his arm. I don't know if he's a customer or if he's coming to cause us trouble. We're still going to be on our guard, right? Yes, you're right. Please be as attentive as possible to the smallest details. Good evening, sir. Don't stay outside. Please come in. Good evening, madam. What brings you to our clinic? I recently met a friend who recommended your establishment for my emergency. Your speed and discretion are, it seems, unparalleled. Hmm. Hmm. We are indeed the best in our field. And that's why I looked for you and found you. Well, let's get started then. So when was the memory that we have to copy? Uh, this is an event that took place very recently. Just today, actually. Wow. Very well. Please follow me to the chair. Please sit down, take a deep breath, and as soon as you put the mask on, it will already be the end of the digitization process. This take place. Are you comfortable? Yes, ma'am. Totally. Alright, here we go. Okay, it's okay. He's connected. His connection and his condition is stable. Although he has a strong sense of fear. Well, I have to find that memory. It shouldn't take long. It's fun to see a person like that in our country. He's not unfriendly, but he sounds like a bad liar. I wonder about this memory. He's here to export Wait, friend, we have a problem. I need a little silence to think. Well, what's going on? I can't access his memories. The last one I see is his arrival at the clinic. Is that a chip with a security? Yes. I thought the project had been abandoned. I don't like it, but I'm going to make an exception to my ethics. We're going to have to read all the memories and go back to the reason for his coming. You have to help me, Bran. When I built the chair, I had intuity safety. That's how I was able to create such an efficient machine. It always works the same way, but this time it's up to us to find the right word. If you type a word, the bubble and the corresponding memory will automatically unlock. The most right-handed memory bubble is the one we need to unlock. I trust you, Bran. Are you ready? Always. Don't forget, you can't type numbers. And if you need help, type my name. Try words about his coming or his condition. Okay. His coming, his physique, or his mental state. If you need my help, just type Bernard. Okay. Um... Okay. Um, no. Friend. 
Ah, his friend is not just anyone. It's Gavel, a powerful person who campaigns against the chip. You told him about the f events in the laboratory and his fear about the future. That's why Gavel directed him to us. Oh. What? What? I'm losing control. The chip's not stable at all. We're going to have to go in blind. Be careful. If you make too many mistakes, the system will eject us. Start by retyping Gavel. Leader of the Forgotten, you know, the Resistance Group. He's leading the conspiracy against the development of the ship. There's a lot of souvenirs on him. I'm hoping we can find some information. Um, okay. No. No. Aha. Capital Interpretation have done a lot of operations together. They form a duo with more or less success due to their disagreements on some missions. They try to block the factory attempt SMI attacks in public areas, penetrate secure areas, anything that can slow down the government to chip in. Um, no, okay. Uh, Gavel's, Gavel's mes methods have become increasingly aggressive since the creation of the Forgotten. He no longer hesitates to create mass operations that could endanger the population equipped with the memory chip. All this is destabilizing the government. It's a dead end. We should look elsewhere. Systems become too unstable and eject us. Something will remain hidden. Or maybe not. Well, we have to get back to work. Um, let's see if we can get him to suggest something. Directed him to us after he told him what happened. Should have a way to track down the location of the events. his job in a hurry to come here on the way he joined someone. The friend he mentioned earlier, I, I presume. And we're back in the upside down version. Hmm. 
It taught us a lot, but I think we won't find anything more in the disagreements memory bubble. You should find the other memories. Won't get us anywhere. Um, today. Type gavel again. Uh, memory chip conspiracy. Day, the D day for the new project of the chips. Project government work in on the hive mind. It's the name for the new project. Hive mind managed to unlock the bubble you wanted, but that's terrible. We'll talk about it as soon as you leave the program. It's up to you to keep exploring to see if we can find any more details. Anyway, you're done. Um, gotten. Resistance. So what have we found? The government is developing a data center for the chip in the greatest secrecy. The installation of the chip was already a child play. The update of the chip will go unnoticed by the world. It only needs to be connected to any network. The uniqueness of people will disappear in favor of a single consciousness, a kind of central brain controlled by the government. We are headed to big problems. We're gonna get our new friend out of there. Hello again. We, from the look on your faces, I think you found the memory in question. We don't want any problems. Don't worry. My friend was right. You are the right people for us. Let me introduce myself. My name is Edril. What are the government's plans for the Hive Mind Project? Why did you come to us? The government wants to eradicate all human individuality. To control people's thoughts and memories. The best way to make a person disappear is for the whole world to forget about them. To control your actions and make you forget them. To make you forget the pain after being injured. And so on. This is only the tip of the iceberg. The beginning of the deployment. Why do you have a secure chip? As you see from my jacket, I infiltrated the government. Unfortunately, I didn't choose to have my chip secured. They managed to update it directly. Your skills in the machine you built, you're not just another copyist. 
You have even created a machine that can bypass chip security. She's also able to read memories independently from each other. Your reputation precedes you. That's why we choose to meet you and test you. Who is we? Gabel and I are the leaders of a group, the Forgotten. For some time now, we have been following the creation of the Hive Mind Project. That is why I infiltrated the government. And our fears proved to be right. We want and we must stop this madness. And how do you plan to do that? The location of the data center and the project leaders are unknown. At least not by conventional scientists. We're going to have to turn up the Hydra and cut off its heads. And that's where you come in. Not in decapitation, rest assured, but in the search for those heads. To do this, I can send you people whose memories will have to be thoroughly searched. And try to follow the trail. We hope you'll find the location as soon as possible. We have a sword of Damocles over our heads. And the worst part of is that when it falls, we won't even feel it. If you join us, I can convince a specific scientist to come here. She's working in secret on a way to enter virtually into memory bubbles. The chip records everything down to the last detail. You'll find everything to exploit. Please join us. We cannot let go of the individual freedoms of all men. Servitude is not a viable option, and you know it deep down. Manipulation has never led to anything conclusive. You certainly are the only people who can help us in a peaceful way. So, will you join us? If I have to get my hands dirty a second time for what seems right to me, I will. What about you, Fran? Yeah, you can count on me. This will be an opportunity for me to rewrite my story. Thank you. Welcome to the Forgotten. The network is not sprawling, but we have a lot of influence. I will personally ensure that the scientist I told you about comes here as soon as possible. Her name is Pear. I'll ask her to introduce herself when she comes in. I'm not staying here any longer. I have a meeting with Gabble. Very well. If you need to contact me, don't hesitate. Alright, we'll wait to hear from you as soon as possible. Have a good evening. You too. I need to get out of here to think. It's true there's a lot of information all at once. Come with me. I'll show you one of my favorite places. We're going to the Blood Horf Bar. We'll be fine there. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Honestly, it's a little touchy and, and a little odd, but I didn't even expect the level that it, it it had in it. Like, I expected point and click all the way through, but that's not fully the case. And I understand the puzzle portion of it now. It's, it's really nicely built. Most likely, I'm going to be putting it on my wish list, and I'll probably go on to this this uh, Twitter account, the Moon Pirates, and add, and uh, follow them to keep up to date on the game. Uh, sorry about the little muse there. Gloria had to have her say. Uh, so thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye.